I went to the grocery store the other day and like many grocery stores right now, the shelf where the hand sanitizer is supposed to be was completely empty. So because of this and because many of us are practicing shelter in place and we're on lockdown and we have a lot of time on our hands, I wanted to show you how you can actually make some of these products yourself with items that you probably already have in your house. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make hand sanitizer. Now this first recipe is like the quick and dirty one. First ingredient is 70% isopropyl alcohol. Now this is really important. It has to be 70% or above in order for the hand sanitizer to be effective. Also, there are different varying grades of isopropyl alcohol and you need food quality or better to apply to your skin. All other grades have impurities left over from the manufacturing process that are unsafe for your skin. And I'm putting a link in the description below for all the different grades of isopropyl alcohol so there's no confusion. Also, I'm gonna mention this because I've seen this going around the internet. You can't use Tito's Vodka or 151. Now the reason you can't use those for hand sanitizer is because the percent alcohol is just not high enough. So Tito's Vodka is roughly 40% alcohol and 151 is 75.5% alcohol and the CDC actually recommends that you use 80% alcohol if you're using ethanol which is the type of alcohol that you would find in liquor. Also it's just like really expensive to, to go this route so I recommend just not using ethanol alcohol or liquor for hand sanitizer at all. The next ingredient that you need is aloe vera gel. But again, make sure that this is something that is intended to be applied to the skin. For today's concoction, we're actually using something that I already had in my cabinet. Um, I had this green aloe vera gel that I had bought after I got sunburned while shooting out in the desert. From here, you just mix those ingredients together in a three to one ratio. So three parts alcohol to one part aloe vera gel. The very last step is to let it sit for 72 hours because there could have been bacteria or viruses that got stuck in that concoction while you were making it. And you wanna make sure that the alcohol has enough time to actually kill the bacteria or viruses. So let it sit for 72 hours, then you can use it. All right, so we have 100 milliliters of 70% isopropyl alcohol. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Boom. And we need roughly 33 milliliters of this aloe vera gel. Oop. All right, so here is 30 milliliters of the aloe vera gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that up. really interesting. Now, if you don't want it to smell basically just like alcohol, you can add a little bit of like essential oil. So we have a little bit of lemon there. That's, that's actually a lot, you probably don't need that. You probably just need like a drop. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my little container now. All right, and uh, there you go. That is the quick and dirty hand sanitizer. Uh, now that we've added a little bit of lemon to it, smells you want to make sure and do this oh yeah a little bit of oil in there now the essential oil you know that's actually pretty great all right now we're gonna let that sit for 72 hours so that it basically disinfects itself now, the only problem with this solution is that it kind of leaves this weird sticky residue so i'm going to show you how to do another recipe uh, that's actually a little bit better but a little bit more involved uh, for this next recipe, you'll need the following. 91% isopropyl alcohol, glycerol or glycerin, 3% hydrogen peroxide, and distilled water. And if you can't get distilled water, you can just use boiled water. Also to note that glycerol is just the more pure version of glycerin. They're actually the same chemical. And the reason that we use this for this recipe is just to uh, essentially like not dry out your hands. All right, now here are the quantities that you're gonna to need to mix together. And because this is very specific, I'm actually putting the ingredient list and the quantities in the description below. You will combine the following. 400 milliliters of 91% alcohol, 
10 milliliters of glycerin, 15 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide, and 50 milliliters of water. To finish this off, we're gonna add one little drop of uh, essential oil lemon, Boop. just to give it some flavor. All right, and now that we have our mixture that the CDC prefers, we're just gonna go ahead and put this in this bottle, like so. And now we have some hand sanitizer spray. Like lemon. Wow, I mean, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> that's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like not a sticky. I love that. Now, while we just showed you how to make hand sanitizer, what's actually better than hand sanitizer is actually washing your hands with soap. And so for this reason, I wanted to show you how to make soap, also because the ingredients to make soap, I have yet to see be cleared off of shelves, and making soap is actually just really fun. And you can give it away if you make too much soap and you want to be nice to your neighbors. So hit that subscribe button, because in the next video, we're gonna show you how to make soap with ingredients from the grocery store that are not cleared off the shelf.